My name is Jesse Lopez. I'm with the Cloud Storage and Data Services BU. And this new video will show you how to do a, a disaster recovery restore on a secondary cluster using Kasten K10. So here we are. So this is our second cluster, uh, as you can see. And if we switch over to our terminal window, I'm gonna show you that I'm, I'm on a different cluster. So first of all, if I do an OC get project WordPress, remember my original project, I do not have anything. So let's switch over to our dashboard. I created a profile so that I can point to the external object store where I sent the backup data. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to go into the policies. And what we are going to do is that we are going to create one is known as an import policy. What is an import policy? It's a specific policy that is used to actually bring data back in case of disaster recovery. So we're gonna call it the same way, backup. It's gonna be an import policy. We will do a restore after import and we're going to uh, do that because we wanna restore automatically the data that we restore. This is what we have. The frequency, so we'll do like a, an hourly, okay? And uh, we're gonna just do that so that we select um, a start in the future. And once we click on create policy, uh, profile for import, external, that's my gateway. Uh, it's an external logic store. And I simply click create policy. So it tells us that the uh, import policy has been created. And now the only thing we have to do is just wait for the policy to automatically kick in because remember we created a schedule for that policy that it runs at the top of the hour and 40 past the hour. So here we are, uh, the actual policy kicked in. So it tells us that we imported the restore point description uh, from the object store. And because I selected restore after import, we have the restore that started to restore the actual data. Now, if we go and check what is happening in the terminal window, I now see that I do have a project that was recreated. So we see that the actual restore starts to, to be working, basically. Uh, what I'm going to do is to show you an RC get by dash in WordPress. And that's the actual restore pods that kicked in that are currently restoring the data. The import of the restore point completed successfully, and we brought back the data from the external object store. As you can see, this took longer because the uh, object store that we're using is remote compared to that particular cluster. So it took about eight minutes to bring the data back. So let's go and see what is happening in our project. So remember, we saw two restore pods going on. And now we have our two pods running. We have our two PVCs that got recreated with the data. Remember the size, 20 gig, they're the same. We restored the service. And there's one thing that we're gonna have to do because I didn't use the functionality which is the route that uh, got restored. So the, the route that got restored and you have the ability when you do the restore to actually change uh, the route object, but I forgot to do it when I did the restore. So the route is still pointing to the old cluster. And remember, if I do an OC, ooh, am I dash dash uh, show server, I'm no longer in the source cluster. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to do a delete route WordPress dash n WordPress. And simply what I'm going to do is uh, if I do a get SVC dash n WordPress, I am simply going to re export. So OC expose SVC. WordPress dash n WordPress. And if I do a get route again, 
Now my new route is actually on the new cluster. So let's go and hop into the browser window to verify that we can now reach our old application that used to run in the source cluster. So let's create a new terminal browser. Let's copy paste the actual route to WordPress updated. And here we are, we see our website. And what we can even do is that we can simply just like go and check everything. And we do have all our posts that we used to have, including the uh, Hello World one that it sits at the bottom. So to conclude this video, what we're going to do now is just like simply show you that also on the admin portion of the website, we're here and the posts are all here and it's all good. So this concludes this video on the DR capabilities of Casting K10 together with uh, OpenShift Container Storage. Hope you enjoyed this video. You need some help, reach out to me. Always ready to help.